For the first time this year, President Muhammadu Buhari convenes the National Security Council meeting as the nation counts hours before Saturday's general elections. The Attorney General of the Federation, hours later, conveys the position of the meeting on the upcoming elections, sharing similar conclusions as that of the Council of State two weeks ago. The Federal Executive Council meeting had taken place, at which meeting Mr. President calls the national chairman of the INEC to brief the Council relating to the preparations of INEC over the election. The National Security Council are happy with the preparations on the ground and all and wholehearted arrangements are put in place in that direction. The resolution of the Council the, is to the effect that the elections are holding and there is no going back about it. The Inspector General of Police reels out the President's instructions. The specific instruction is that we must ensure that Nigerians are allowed to come out and they exercise their franchise or board the leaders of their choice. And for that, we must create conducive environment or atmosphere for Nigerians to exercise their right. Responding to questions bordering on the open contestation of the president's latest policy by some state governors, the inspector general of police reveals actions taken. We are investigating. Whoever does anything, he can be investigated. But for him to be prosecuted, there are people who are who have immunity. And I think that is some of the reason. But that will not stop us from cautioning them and from warning them, from advising them, and we are doing so. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The Inspector General goes on to explain that the combined presence of security agencies in places like Lagos and Abeokuta uh, is simply to install security order following protests that erupted over the Naira swap and Naira scarcity and not necessarily targeted at the general elections coming up on Saturday. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuki, Channel's Television News.